Hi, I'm Erica, and I'm here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute in Washington, D.C. Today, I'm traveling all around the zoo to look at all of the plants. We have so many plants in and around guest areas and animal habitats. Plants are living things, just like animals, which means they require care too. I'm about to meet Craig, a horticulturist who takes care of all the plant life here at the zoo. Before we meet him, there are three things I can tell you about Craig and his career. One, Craig knows a lot about plant biology. Two, Craig spends most of his time outside getting his hands dirty in and around those plants. And three, horticulture at the zoo has the added challenge of working around animals, and animals don't make the best gardeners. Let's go meet Craig to get the inside scoop on his career. Hello, uh, my name is Craig Rudolph. I am the curator of horticulture here at the National Zoo. What is horticulture? It's the science behind plants and trees and the cultivation of them. What that means is anything that has to do with the plants and trees, I'm a part of. So we take care of um, making sure that everything is healthy for visitor experience, but also for the animal experience. about a 5,000 square foot uh, greenhouse um, that we keep tropicals in. We have a few of the indoor exhibits uh, that we supply plants for. One place is the ape house. So apes are typically in, you know, a tropical uh, foresty area um, since we have the lowland gorillas. So we try and make the inside kind of emulate their habitat. If someone was looking to get into the horticulture field, is uh, greenhouse production. So if you didn't want to work outside the whole time, you could work in a greenhouse uh, to where you could be growing multitude of different kinds of flowers and tropicals and things like that. There's a ton of different fields within the horticulture field. You could become an arborist that deals specifically with trees. Uh, a gardener or your basic landscaper that just does uh, maintenance where you cut grass, um, pruning, you know, making look, making homeowners yards look good. Uh, you have a greenhouse person. Um, you have florists. Florists need to know uh, the different plants and things like that. So there's several avenues. Um, and it's, if it's something that you're looking to do, you just need to find your niche, you know, you need to get in the field a little bit and figure out what it is you like which of those yeah, which avenue you would like best. How did you become interested in horticulture? Trees and plants have always kind of been in my background. As a young lad, I uh, spent a lot of time outdoors. After high school, I started out as a fisheries biologist. And then during the summers, I was doing landscape work for a local landscape company. And that fascinated me more. I decided that I needed to switch majors and uh, got an associate's degree in landscape management. So if kids are interested in horticulture, they might want to try gardening or planting near them. Can you show us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, here we have a tropical plant. Um, you have to excuse me, I don't know this plant. Um, but you can try uh, transplanting um, different parts of plants. Uh, one of the easiest thing is, you know, you could take uh, an offshoot that has started growing um, and pull it out of the main plant and you get the root ball or the roots going and you can just transplant it into another pot and you just care for it. You keep it watered. You know, you don't ever want to have the soil soaking wet where water is completely wrung out. You just want it moist and the, the plant will take what it needs from it. So you just keep an eye on it like that. Um, you give it plenty of sun, probably about a month's time, you'll have a good solid root ball going again and you have doubled your plants then. Thank you so much for joining as we explored another unusual career. I loved learning more about horticulture and how Craig uses his skills and knowledge of biology to take care of all of the plants here at the zoo. You can practice being a horticulturist just like Craig. Start small. 
You can plant seeds in a local garden, community garden, or even in your backyard. Then you could also try planting or replanting a house plant. Try it all out and see what works for you. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this was a really cool career. I'll see you next time.